Hello everybody, it is Tree from Tree Talks, and today what you're going to be listening to is five reasons why you should be excited for the Jaguars training camp in 2019, but before you, we get into this video, why do you not drop a like down below and make sure you hit that subscribe button, click the bell icon so you get notified every single time I drop a new video or this cat gets it. What's going on everybody? It is Treeb from Treeb Talks here and the Jaguars training camp is now officially underway. So you know what that means for me? That means you're going to be getting a video every single day of Jaguar training camp reaction, review, and news and some other videos in between. So y'all might be getting two Treeb Talk videos a freaking day and that is some exciting stuff for you guys but we are going to be working really hard here to cover the Jaguars training camp and to cover everything else that we are already doing on the channel like the all 25s the position outlook and discussing and things like that the EE lifestyle as well along with these training camp reaction review and news videos now what today is is going to be five reasons why you should be excited for Jaguars training camp in 2019 and trust me there's a lot of reasons to be optimistic and excited about training camp this season so without further ado ladies and gentlemen this is five reasons to be excited for the jacksonville jaguars 2019 training camp number five hopefully by the end of camp yannick and gawkway gets his extension one of the biggest storylines in 2019 for the Jaguars so far has been Yannick Ngakwe and when will the Jaguars finally pull the trigger and extend Yannick Ngakwe. It all seems like he's going to be there for training camp. He was at the facility, I believe, a week ago uh, practicing, getting ready for the season. And I think he is he's just not that type of player. Me and Jason kind of already talked about that. He's not the type of guy that would be sitting out for a contract. But hopefully by this time... Um, the Jaguars will have a contract figured out for Yannick Ngakwe and us as Jag fans can exhale and breathe a little bit because the guy deserves a new contract. This guy shouldn't be making the amount of money he's making now for the 2019 season. He doesn't have to prove anything to you. I think every year he's been here, he has proved why he deserves to get paid and why he deserves a new contract. And He is one of the most dominant defenders on this Jaguar defense. And I think as a fan perspective, it's going to make us all uh, rest a little bit easier knowing that Yannick Ngakwe will be signed down for a long-term deal now I don't know what this entails if they're trying to maybe figure out what to do with that money and maybe want to give more of the money to like Jalen Ramsey but they need to extend Yannick Ngakwe and I think it's going to be happening during training camp and before the preseason starts so hopefully hopefully this Yannick Ngakwe extension happens during training camp number four we get to see who Telvin Smith's replacement will be the Jaguars as linebackers, as we are going to be talking about uh, a little bit later in the week, it'll be the position outlook we are going over. It's a very interesting group. There's a lot of guys in there that have a lot of potential, but have not seen a lot of playing time. You know, the most experienced guy right now, you got Jake Ryan and Miles Jack. Those two are going to be the most experienced Jaguar players out there on the field for the linebackers. And you got guys like Quincy Williams, the rookie, Leon Jacobs, a seventh round draft pick, and you know, all these other guys that are going to be trying to make a name for themselves on the field in the absence of Telvin Smith. Now, not only is it going to be interesting to see who kind of replaces him on the field, it's going to be very interesting to see who steps up as a leader. And I expect Miles Jack to be that guy. It's going to be very interesting to see Miles Jack's leadership improve and see how much it really develops uh, in 2019 because Telvin Smith is going to be gone. And that's a big thing that the Jaguars are missing with Telvin Smith. This guy was a great locker room guy. Everybody bought into him. Everybody knew that he was a leader. He was a team captain. I think he's been a team captain since his second year in the league. So he's definitely earned his way to be a captain in Jacksonville. And somebody else on the defensive end is going to have to step up. I mean, you know you got like Calais Campbell who's going to be a team captain, but they need somebody else, and it's preferably a linebacker because almost every team has a linebacker as a captain, and if it looks like how it's going to be, it's going to have to be Miles Jack. And Miles Jack's also playing for a contract, so he's going to have to have a good season this year, prove that he could be a leader, and prove why the Jaguars not only need to extend Yannick Ngakwe, but why they need to extend Miles Jack and maybe even throw a franchise tag on him next year. It depends, but I expect Miles Jack to kind of be that guy to replace Telman Smith in the leadership role. As for on the field, I'm not too sure yet, but that is going to be very interesting to see who Telvin Smith's replacement is going to be. And it's also going to be interesting during the season to see if Telvin Smith ever does eventually come back. But that's a big thing to look for is who's going to replace Telvin Smith as the leader 
and on the field for the Jacksonville Jaguars in 2019, and it's going to happen during Jaguars training camp. Number three, we get to see how much improved these wide receivers will be with Nick Foles under center. Now, this might be more of a season thing because, you know, it's definitely going to show out more in the season because I remember Blake Bortles last year was throwing pretty good balls during training camp and was making a lot of plays and everybody was hyping him up. But this year with Nick Foles under center, a guy that we know can throw the ball really, really well. And, you know, there's a lot of people out there that think guys like D.D. Westbrook, Marquise Lee, Chris Conley, you know, they will thrive with a good quarterback. And they will thrive in the offense with this quarterback, with John Day Lupo. And it's time to see if all that stuff is indeed true. We're going to see how good these Jaguar wide receivers have a chance to be this year. You know, there's a lot of people out there that think that this group is terrible and it's going to be holding us back. Some people think that this is a really low-key group and that with Nick Foles under center, they are going to thrive. And, you know, guys like D.D. Westbrook, D.J. Chark, you know, all these uh, younger guys that most of the league don't really know yet, uh, that these guys are going to really succeed and really, you know, break through their ceiling with a guy like Nick Foles under center. It's going to be very interesting to see how these wide receivers develop throughout training camp. And it's one thing to definitely keep your eye on during the Jaguars 2019 training camp. Number two, football is officially back. Now I know for you guys, it's very, very exciting to have football back because, you know, we haven't had it in six, seven months. And even if it is training camp or even if it is preseason, you know, there is still the excitement in the air that now is officially the time that the NFL season has begun. It's a very exciting time for fans uh, that don't make YouTube videos, but it's especially, especially exciting for a guy that does make YouTube videos because now the more content is coming for your boys. So, you know, I have more things to talk about. You know, I don't have to reach deep into my bag of video ideas and pull out what will happen if the Jaguars took over a WrestleMania 34 card. You know, this is getting more time for more content and it's very exciting to see our boys back in action. There's some new faces out there that we get to see. There's some old faces that we hope, you know, can either improve or, you know, hopefully are on the team the year after, you know. Um, but it's very exciting to have Jaguar football back. And if that's not a big enough reason to be excited for you as a Jags fan for Jaguar training camp in 2019, there is one more reason. You should be very, very excited in 2019 for the Jaguars training camp. And number one, Nick Foles. Now this could be a list of things that could either make you really, really excited or really disappoint you. Because if Nick Foles goes out there and he does bust and, you know, all these pessimists Jags fans are right, then it's definitely going to be coming back to this video and saying, oh, y'all were so excited about Nick Foles. You talked about him with the receiver group and you gave the number one reason on why Jags fans should be excited is because of Nick Foles, but he ended up being a dud. However, as an optimist, I'm going to say that doesn't happen and the Jags have a really decent season in 2019, hopefully making it back to the playoffs, and a lot of it is going to have to do with Nick Foles. It's going to be crazy seeing a different quarterback out there. We had Blake Bortles for four or five years, and you know it was, he was our guy for those years, and you know it's been four or five years since we've had a new quarterback. Hell, we haven't really even had backups in there until this year when Bortles got benched and Cody Kessler came in. But, you know, the quarterbacks as a whole are very exciting to watch. You know, Nick Foles and then Gardner Minshew, who's obviously a fan favorite, you know, getting to see him play, see how he develops, and hopefully he does improve a lot because if Foles does go down, you know, we really don't have a great depth quarterback, and hopefully Gardner Minshew can kind of develop into be that guy. But we know Nick Foles is a healthy guy. You know, he usually goes out there, takes care of business. He's tough. He is a former Super Bowl MVP, so you know that this guy is no joke. And as Jags fans should be we should all be very excited to see Nick Foles under center in 2019 and that's the number one reason why you should be excited for the Jaguars training camp this season and that was five reasons why you should be excited for the Jaguars training camp in 2019 what you guys think leave your comments down below don't forget to check the links down below as well you can like me on Facebook at Troop Talks follow me on Twitter at Troop Talks or follow me on Instagram at Trey Von Pixley also if you haven't yet Hit that subscribe button. Click the bell icon so you get notified every single time I drop a new video. I drop new content on this channel six days a week. Ain't nobody out working me. Them's just straight facts. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. As always, you guys have a great rest of your day.